Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about LEDs, light emitting diodes. Now, a light emitting diode is a two terminal device, it's solid state, so it's basically a PN junction diode, and it acts like a diode, something like a rectifier diode, like this one here. But a rectifier diode is made out of silicon, and a LED is made out of gallium arsenide. Now, gallium arsenide by itself will emit infrared light, but if you add aluminum, it will emit visible light. Now when you apply a voltage across the LED, energy is released in the form of photons, which is light energy. Now if we apply photons to the LED, if we shine light on the LED, it will output a voltage, so it works in reverse. So by using this characteristic, we could build a light detection circuit using an LED. Okay, here's my light detection circuit, which uses LEDs as a light sensor. Now the heart of the circuit is an op amp, which you can see here. It's a CA3140 and it's configured as a voltage comparator. This is my output LED. Now this output LED comes on when the light sensor is triggered. Now I have two banks of LEDs, the top bank of three LEDs and a bottom bank of three LEDs. Now the top bank of three LEDs monitors the ambient light of the room and auto calibrates the circuit. And the bottom three LEDs is my trigger LEDs. So if I cover them up, you can see it triggers my circuit and my output LED comes on. Now if I change the light conditions of the room, the top three LEDs will compensate and the circuit will still work. So if I would cover them both up, see it doesn't come on, because it doesn't see a change. It has to see a change, a difference between the two LEDs, the two banks. So just by covering up the bottom bank, I can trigger the circuit and my output LED comes on. Okay, here's a schematic diagram of my light detection circuit, which uses LEDs as a light sensor. Now, the heart of the circuit is an op amp, and I'm using a CA3140 op amp, but you could use any general purpose op amp. And the op amp is configured as a voltage comparator. As you can see, there's no feedback paths. Now, the output of the op amp, pin 6, is driving this LED. Now, this LED will come on when the circuit is triggered. Now I have a pot across pin 1 and 5 of the op amp, a 10k pot, that's my offset null pot, and that sets the trigger point. Now I have two banks of LEDs, I got a top bank of three LEDs and a bottom bank of three LEDs, and they're all connected in parallel because I'm looking for a low impedance voltage source. So when the light intensity of the room hits all six of these LEDs, the top three LEDs will put out a voltage on pin 2, and the bottom bank of LEDs will put out a voltage on pin 3. Now since intensity is the same in all six LEDs, the voltage on pins 2 and 3 from the two banks will be about the same, but one will be a little bit higher. So we trim it out with the offset null pot. We set the pot so the output LED just turns off. So now when I block the top bank of LEDs, the voltage on pin 2 will drop below the voltage on pin 3, and the output of pin 6 will go high and drive the LED on. So the bottom three LEDs are monitoring the ambient light intensity of the room. So if it changes, it will auto calibrate the circuit. So the circuit will always work no matter what kind of intensity we have in the room. And if it changes, it will auto calibrate it. So that's the circuit there. It's very simple. It's very few parts count. So you could demonstrate how you could use an LED as a light sensor. Okay, so now you know how this little circuit works. You know that a diode can emit light and can also detect light. Now if I turn off my light on my bench, change the intensity, light intensity of the room, now it's a lot dimmer. You can see the circuit still works. The top three LEDs have compensated for the change of light. So I'll turn back on my light again. So we're back to a bright room. So now this circuit isn't very practical because you could buy phototransistors or photodiodes that are designed to do the job. They're designed to detect light. But if you're a school teacher and you want to do a demonstration, you could set up this little circuit so you could demonstrate how an LED can detect light.